found some things. <laughs> I found a whole lot of things. As we know, thrift shopping and altering thrifted clothes is one of my favorite things for fun, for fashion, for saving money, for the challenge of it. So I found a ton of things at the thrift store that we're gonna alter. We're gonna be altering some dresses, bringing them in on the sides, shortening them. We're gonna make some cute little summery shirts. And I have a bunch of shirts that I got from my grandparents' closet that we're just gonna make them cute. It's just gonna be a fun time. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're starting with the grandma dresses. So the first thing I do, I try everything on, I check the fit, I see if it needs to come in on the side, see if I wanna shorten anything. I feel like this can come in like an inch on each side. So what I'm gonna do for that, perform a very simple surgery. I'm just gonna take my seam ripper, rip a little opening right here, separate the top from the skirt, bring the skirt in, and then connect them again. So it's just like a little surgery. And I think it would be a little bit more flattering. Okay, first I'm going to mark where I wanna hem this dress and I'm making sure to add two inches to that for hem allowance. And then I'm gonna cut it all the way across and then I'm gonna remind myself to never cut anything like that ever again because it was extremely lopsided. So instead I'm gonna measure down from the waist. This gets a more accurate measurement and this is when I drop my tailor's chalk. Oh, bad things, bad things, bad things are happening. I'm really, really ashamed of myself. It's in a billion pieces. Okay, I'm gonna finish cutting this correctly and now we can move on to bringing the waist in. So I'm gonna take my seam ripper, which is the single most important tool I think that one could ever sew with. Okay, so we have our little armpit here, the side seam, and then the skirt is running this way. So I basically wanna seam rip like two inches. This is gonna take a while. I'm gonna be here for at least five hours. This is the most therapeutic thing. Do you ever just sit there and sew and think about life, life the future, future, the past, the present, love, love, just all of it, you know? Oh, oh, oh my gosh, I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to get it. <gasps> Guys, look at this, look at this, we have an opening. This did not take five hours, more like five minutes. All right, now I'm gonna cut about an inch off of each side of the skirt, and then we're just gonna sew both of these edges. By the way, I'm using my Singer Quantum Stylist, my favorite sewing machine in the world. Now we just need to close these little openings on the side. So all I gotta do, flip it inside out. Then we're gonna just drop this top into the skirt. Drop it down in there, and then we're just gonna sew a little seam here on the skirt, and that will close the opening and attach the bodice once again. All right, now I'm just gonna hem the bottom. For the hem, I'm doing a really simple double fold hem all around, and it's done. Okay, this is so cute. This is cute! The skirt fits so much better now. Those two inches really made a difference, I'm telling you. Okay, next we have another kind of grandma -y dress. This one is my favorite. This is gonna be so cute. This hurts my soul a little bit to shorten this, but it needs to be done. Okay, now I'm gonna mark where I want to cut this dress and I'm gonna break my chalk again. I don't know how this keeps happening. And I'm measuring from the bottom of the skirt to get an accurate measurement and then I'll cut it. Okay, so I'm just gonna hem the bottom of this and I'm gonna do the smallest hem that I could possibly do because I keep cutting these a little too short. I have a problem. So I think I wanna wear this with this little belt that I also got from the thrift store, but this belt is way too big for me. I might have to DIY this belt a little. Okay, I might try to use this rusty um, seam ripper. Okay, this is looking good. Wow, okay, that was so much easier than I thought. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut this slack a little bit. Why am I doing this while wearing it? I don't know. Ignore the wrinkles, this turned out so great. Let's put it with our DIY belt. Wow, this looks, this looks great. It's a little wrinkly. Okay, this one is not an alteration because I'm not doing anything to it, but I found this dress from the thrift store and I put a little belt with it. Look at how cute this is. Also, if you're wondering, what is this beautiful jewelry that I'm pairing with every outfit that I'm putting on? 
let me tell you about it. All of the pieces that I'm wearing on my ears and on my neck right now are by Ana Luisa, an amazing company. I've talked about them a little bit before in my videos. They're really into sustainability, which is something that I try to practice in my everyday life, in my sewing journey. So that's why I'm always looking for old fabric to sew with or bed sheets or tablecloth. If you saw my romper video that I made out of a tablecloth, you can pretty much sew with any recycled material and not have to buy any new fabric. So how fun is that? So that's when I was introduced to Ana Luisa and I just fell in love with their jewelry because it's so simple and you can read all about how each part of the jewelry pieces are made, what they're made out of. So actually all the earrings that I'm wearing right now are made out of recycled sterling silver dipped in 14 karat gold. Ana Luisa uses a ton of recycled material in a lot of their jewelry pieces, which is really, really cool because that's low impact and sustainable to the earth and they're just reusing what's already around. And this necklace is made out of gold plated brass and it has the most beautiful little blue stone in the middle. All of their jewelry is so simple and so dainty and it just goes with everything. So you don't have to stress about, is this gonna match with this? Is it gonna match with this? Cause that's just too much stress, you know? And their pieces are really affordable. They range from $39 to higher end pieces. So there's something for everyone. So go check them out, go buy some jewelry and be good to the earth while you're doing it. Okay, back to the video. All right, this one's giving me a little bit of anxiety. I think I have too much faith in the nightgowns. <laughs> now let's just talk about this part kind of ugly, but I'm definitely gonna do two things to this. These armpits are a little bit too like flappy and big. So I might, well, I'm definitely gonna bring these in. I'm also gonna shorten it because this is super long. Oh, I can't decide. Okay, I can't decide between mid thigh or doing like a little midi dress. And then I can do like a little slit right here, just like a little, little slit. Okay, I might ask my Instagram friends. <laughs> Again, I'm doing things for people's approval. So that's all I live for. I'm just kidding. All right, Instagram has spoken. 47% mid thigh, 53% knees with side slits. It's decided, I'm going knees with side slits. I'm nervous about this one. So we're gonna do all of our favorite thing. First, I'm gonna take my seam ripper. We're gonna seam rip this little side seam. Just rip, 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 rip until you get seven inches up. And remember, if it's surged on the end, you're gonna have to rip that out too. So we're gonna be here for a minute. I'm gonna put some music on and reflect on my life while I do this. You ever just sit, sit there and sew and, and, and think about life, life the future, future, the past, past the present, present love? love. Just all of it, you know, you know, you know. Okay, so to bring this in right here, there's some really easy kind of cheater ways that you can do it, or there's some more complex ways. So it's really up to you. But if you look up close, there's like this little binding that goes around all of the armpit. So if you want to do it the more complex way, you could take your little seam ripper and seam rip the binding off just right there where you're going to bring it in. So take the binding off, bring the side seam in, and then put the binding back on. Or if you want to go like the simple route, you could literally just sew a seam right here. Just go with your sewing machine. It just might look a little messy and it'll be a little bulky right there. Or you can cut it a little bit and then sew it, but that'll also look a little bit messy where the binding is. So I'm gonna do it the hard way. I might regret this later, but I'm up for a challenge. Wait, I just had a thought. I just had a thought. Once I bring this in, then the binding's gonna be too big, you know? Cause the binding is gonna be big. So how does that work? I'm just gonna see what happens. I mean, this is experimental. This is purely experimental. Okay, shoulda done, shoulda done my nails for this. Okay, now that I seam ripped the binding off, I'm just gonna sew a little seam, like half an inch in and taper it down about three inches. And then I'll just trim off the excess. That sounds right. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Okay, now I'm just gonna trim off that seam allowance a little bit. There's no going back now because I'm <laughs> really cutting it. Okay, now my calculation was correct. This binding is too big. So what can I do? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut it right down the middle. Here we go. Okay, I'll open the binding up. I'm gonna sew it together at half an inch seam allowance. This is a tiny piece of fabric I'm working with. Oh my gosh, I'm about to give up. 
I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm getting frustrated. It doesn't help that this is the slipperiest fabric I've ever touched in my life. Here goes nothing. Okay, let's see what that even did. Wait, that actually worked. That actually worked! I'm gonna trim this little seam allowance here. Okay. And now the binding fits perfectly. <laughs> we did it! We did it. We did it. Can someone who actually knows about alterations comment below and let me know if what I did was kind of genius or really dumb? Because it was one or the other. Okay, now I'm just gonna fold this binding back over our new beautiful altered armpit and sew it down. Okay, so I'm just top stitching the binding back down and it actually turned out so neat and nice. All right, before we hem the bottom of this dress, we need to get these little side slits situated. So all I'm gonna do is fold this raw edge in towards the wrong side of the dress and then we're just gonna top stitch this edge all the way down the slit kind of pivot the sewing machine there and then come all the way back up this edge. So then this slit will just have a nice neat edge. All right, so here I'm top stitching down one edge and then when I get to the end, I'm gonna drop the needle down, lift the presser foot up, pivot the fabric. I'm gonna sew a few seams going that way and then I'm gonna pivot again and sew all the way down the other side and it should look a little something like this. Okay, and for the other armpit, I did a little experiment and did this one the easy way. So I sewed a little seam and then I cut off the excess. I felt like such a cheater doing it this way, but it was so much easier. And as you can see, it looks very beautiful on the outside, but very not beautiful on the inside. So you can just take your pick, whichever you want. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hem the bottom of this dress. So I'm just cutting it and then I'm gonna do another double fold hem. So I'm just folding it up pressing it down and then folding it up again and sew along the pinned edge. And this is the easiest hem that you can possibly do. I love it, it's great. Unanimous decision, I hate this. I don't like this. It looks like I'm ready for bed. It looks like I'm wearing a nightgown. I hate this. Okay, now we're gonna make some cute little summery shirts. So I could crop it and wear it just like this. That's cute. But what I really need is a nice summer top. So I think I'm gonna cut the sleeves off and then make a little casing of fabric around it and then put a little tiny piece of elastic all around so that they're still like puffy sleeves but then they cinch around the arm. So first I'm gonna cut these sleeves off. Do not ask why I cut these at a slightly diagonal angle. I don't know what came upon me. I just, I did it, I regretted it. And now I'm cutting the bottom of the shirt and I'm gonna do a double fold hem. You guessed it. I did a one inch hem on the bottom of the shirt and then I did a half an inch hem on the sleeves. And this is so that we can fit the quarter of an inch elastic through. It just has to be a little bit bigger than whatever size elastic you're gonna use. I'm just gonna pin it all around and sew it down. This part is crucial. For the sleeve, you need to make sure to leave a tiny little opening because we need to put the elastic in. Now I'm gonna measure my arm. Hope I don't get super buff after I make this. Just kidding. Okay, so I want it to be snug, but not like too snug, you know? We're gonna cut two of these. Okay, so we have our little elastic pieces. Now I'm gonna take a safety pin, put it through one of the ends, and find wherever we left that little opening in our casing. We're just gonna feed it through. Now make sure to not lose the other end while you do this. Okay, once you get to the end, just pull it through. Just gonna, just gonna try this on. That is perfect. Now we just need to sew these little ends. So I'm gonna overlap them and we're gonna do a little zigzag stitch. That should work. That should work. Okay, I'm just gonna trim off the egg. Oh, wow, okay. Got really close to the seam there. Okay, I'm just gonna trim off the excess and then you can zoop, pull it a little bit. And then all we have to do is put a little seam right there to close this little opening. And just like that, we have these cute little sleeves. I'm obsessed with this shirt. This is so cute. It's so cute. Look at these little sleeves. I kind of wish the sleeves were a little more puffy, you know? 
I just feel like that would be a look. Also, it would have been super cute to put elastic like we did on the sleeve on the bottom of this shirt so that it was kind of like cinched at the bottom, but I like it loose. I'm gonna be wearing this all summer. This is cute. Okay, second shirt, kind of weird, right? At first thought, you're like, what are you wearing? What is that? These are some crazy looking sleeves, but it has potential. What if I crop it? What a thought. It's a thousand times cuter, right? Okay, for this one, I'm gonna give this a little trim off the bottom and I'm gonna hem it all around. You already know. I have said this about everything, but this is so cute. This turned out great. This is the perfect little date night top. Put it with some black jeans, put it with some shorts. It's casual, but it's also fancy. Look at these sleeves. All right, for the last segment of this video, we are going to do some grandma shirts. This is actually my grandma's shirt. I have some of my grandpa's too, and they kind of smell like them. Kind of making me sad, but but here we have a nice uh, cowboy in Arizona. And that's pretty neat. And another one, whatever that is, kind of cool. Whatever that is, kind of cool. Wow, this is cool. Big Arizona girl right here, me and my grandma. Never been. Hawaii, a uh, Hawaii one. All right, we're getting a little hint of the Wild West with this shirt. Death Valley, California. I like this. Okay, all right, what is this? I saw this in my grandpa's closet and I think I got a little overzealous about it, but okay, here's what I'm thinking. Let's crop it. Could be kind of cool. This would be like the most Gen Z thing I've ever worn in my life. I like it. It's kind of weird, but I like it. All right, the last thing is this little ACDC shirt found at the thrift store. I don't think I have enough crop shirts. I think I need another one. All right, let's just get to cropping. It's different. It's different. It's, it's different. It's different. Mm, I feel like I should hate this. I feel like you could see something like this at Urban Outfitters, right? Like it wouldn't be weird to see this. You'd be like, that's Urban Outfitters. I don't hate it. Will I wear it? Will I ask all of my friends what they think of it? Probably. Love this. This is doing everything right. Also love this. I'm starting to feel like I went a little overboard on these shirts, but this is cute. This is cute. These are all starting to look the same to me, but also cute. Did I already put this on? No, I did not. They all look the same. All right, this, this one looks like all the other 500 ones. I love it! ACDC. Gotta love it. This reminds me of a shirt my brother used to wear in like the 90s, but other than that, it's cool. Do you hear that? This has been fun. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, if you learned anything, give it a little thumbs up and comment below. Let me know if anything that I made was ugly and I'm gonna throw it away and cry and probably quit YouTube altogether. And one last thing, be sure to check out Anna Louisa if you wanna be really cute and be all matchy matchy with me. And you can get 10% off by using my code JessicaSH10. And that's all I have to say. So have a great day. My arm is real shaky. I should not be holding this camera. I'll see you next time. Bye!